Lovely possession. Lovely play. Color. Maradona. What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at possession gameplay and talking about whether possession works with Pep. Now a lot of the squads you're going to face at the top tiers or Division 1 players are going to be what you see on screen here. There's going to be a couple of variations between a 4-2-2-2 or a 4-2-1-3. But essentially you're going to have the same setup across multiple, multiple users and players and the same personnel. So taking for example this video that we did, if you haven't checked that out, please do check it out. It is about talking about the top 10 in the world you've got eight players using Klopp and eight players using four center backs and four and one single DMF such as Vieira or Reichardt now we actually matched up in this squad on our road to glory this is our road to glory squad so we've got a 100% free squad with collar up front versus this Ten Hag booster 424 now 424 is kind of a difficult enough formation to crack if you don't keep the ball, it's one of the best formations that you can come up against. But this guy actually switches to 4 2 1 3 halfway through the game, so he's playing even more meta than he is here when he sees that things aren't going his way. So, straight from the kickoff, you're going to see here what we want to do with possession. We have a couple of checklist items that we want to do. The first, most important part of possession is to use the ball effectively and not get caught on the hop. So within two minutes, I lose the ball, and I can see straight away that this guy is going to try and get it through to his center forward, which I cut out luckily enough. But I'm kind of playing a little bit kamikaze here in the first 10 minutes until I actually settle into this game, and I'm kind of rushing my passes. Now, I do kind of like alternate this a little bit to kind of keep him guessing that I'm not just going to keep the ball for keeping the ball's sake. That's one mistake people that play possession do, is that they get afraid of actually, you know, making a high-risk pass but sometimes you have to make a high risk pass the same as you make a shot or you take on a shot like this like this is this is never going in but it's more for me to kind of keep this guy thinking okay this guy is going to keep the ball he's playing with pep a little bit but also i'm not afraid to have a pop i'm also not afraid to have a crack i'm also not afraid to recycle the ball in dangerous areas and that's what you need to do if you're playing possession and most importantly you need to just be confident on the ball that when you lose the ball you're able to get back manually because of one issue with possession which we'll get into in just a couple of minutes um that can be the downfall with possession now listen if you come up against a guy that is just you know has your number or he's just an off day for you or he's just a bad matchup for you i mean it could be top rank in the world it could be a division three player you're going to lose games you know there's no like bona fide way uh to you know to to win every single game using a, a certain formation if you're taking the game that seriously the game is eventually going to screw you there's just no no doubt about it man it's the same as you know dropping in war zone and you drop with an enemy and the enemy finds a really good gun in the first box he sees and you find an rpg and i mean he just absolutely creams you this is another chance here there is a certain element of randomness in it where an interception will go your way you won't block the ball when you should there's lots of things but i can see straight away from the first 17 minutes of this game from analyzing this opponent as a top rank this guy is going to be spamming the ball through now when i say spamming the ball through it doesn't mean that this guy lacks skill and we're going to see his rating at the end of the video which might surprise you because i want you to let me know what division you thought this guy would have been in just based on the style that he was playing but i'm going to talk about that towards the end of the video and as you can see here this is a really good example of jack wilshire i have about three options to pass this ball but instead i let him chase me around the garden ring a ring a rosy and i eventually give it off to maradona for a pop and that could have very easily been a goal now this guy is in his head thinking, okay, I'm in a bit of a game here where I'm not on much possession, I'm not on much ball, he seems to have kind of sorted out, like, this is him thinking in my head, he seems to have sorted out a way of stopping the true ball going through, and he's playing without really passing the ball to Collar too much, and I'm just using Collar as kind of a target man, just to give me that presence up front, while still going through my main guys of Maradona, Palmer, and Neymar. So when we actually kind of analyze our play here and we look at our style, this guy is actually going to go in and start making changes. Now, this is when he switches to a 4 2 one three, um, which is a lot of people will do that. You know, a lot of people will play without with one attacking midfielder and either a double pivot or a single pivot. 
I actually don't even play. He stops playing here for a second. Um, and then I obviously just start going on again. But I'm showing you the raw gameplay of this just to talk you through it. Jack Wiltshire, again, really high dribbling. Palmer lets me down there, but we get a free. It's a bad touch. We're going to get a free here with Neymar. We're going to pop this. I should be really scoring frees from here. I mean, this is just my mistake here, which I'm okay with. But we do recycle the ball fairly well here and create a chance from nothing. Again, Alex Grimaldo back out to Palmer. Easy option back to Grimaldo. We don't cross it. We recycle it to Jack Wiltshire. Sure, we're going to take a left foot finish and then the AI blocks for him, which is again something that can go for or against you. Now, with this as well, if you guys want to see a corner kick tutorial, we nearly scored there. If you guys want to see a corner kick tutorial, let me know in the comments below as well. But we do eventually score from this. So I've been threatening to shoot all day against this guy and he still hasn't really chased me down. So we do actually get a goal from that with 30 minutes gone. What does this guy do straight away when he actually gets the tip off? Spam forward again and it's easily blocked by Rodri. Now, there is a couple of issues with possession game. And mostly that is about kind of getting caught on the counter. And the reason why you can't get caught in the counter against possession game is because of how high the defensive line is up. And this is where you need to manually position your players, as you see there. You need to manually get rid of the ball if you're going to lose it. And this can be hard. I mean, dribbling is probably the best it's ever been in any football game. This would have been beautiful if I finished that. But again, the AI helps him out. A little bit of manual defending on his behalf. As I said, this guy wasn't a bad player. You might look at the stat line here in a minute at halftime and say, yeah, but you know, this wouldn't work against a really top ranked player. I mean, trust me, boys. I mean, if somebody is getting to Division 1, unless they're either A, playing the game for a lot of hours with a bad win rate, like, you know, 40, 50% win rate, or else they're playing the game for a very little and uh, amount of time and literally just have a 90 win percent ratio. It's either one or the other. So it's kind of pick your poison. Now, we're going to show you this big weakness in possession game. I lose the ball here. Look how high my defensive line is up. I mean, my, my player, there's no player in my half here when he sets this ball through. Now we get back, my AI, AI gets back, and wan one of the best in the business, even the free version of wan who we got in our spins here, actually gets back and helps us out. And then we're on the attack again with 40 minutes gone. But that is the big, big thing that you need to stop with possession gameplay. You can't get caught on the counter of possession. And the problem with this guy is, if I was to kind of analyze his game and, and, and kind of look at how he played this, this, this match that he played against me Forgetting about the opponent's skill level, right? And forgetting about any internet issues or any kind of, you know, server issues or networking or anything like that. If you're just taking the game as it is, let's just say that the game is fine for both of us, okay? Which it looked to be. The big issue with this game is something that I talk about quite a bit, and it's a matchup problem. This guy would probably beat me if I was playing, you know, fire versus fire. And instead, we've given him, we've doused him in water. That's kind of what we've done. We've taken away what he's good at in the game, which is very fast, rapid, ping pong, get the ball up. And this is, look at his possession, 28% possession. Now, you're after watching that, that full game there, okay? You're after watching that full game. I'm not being anti-football. I'm not holding the ball. All my passes, I've seven missed passes, but most of my passes have been, you know, going forward. Like, it's not like I'm sitting back deep, which is what a lot of people will do if they're playing possession, is they kind of get it into their heads that they're like, okay, I just can't lose possession. They get one goal and then they'll go all out blue. For me, in my opinion, that's the wrong way of playing possession. To play possession, you need to actually use the AI to your advantage and you need to use the space to your advantage and spread the play manually while also defending a little bit more manually. I think possession does improve you as a player. Because it means that you have to hold the ball to the last second and you have to pick the right option more often than not. I think when you're playing long ball counter and quick counter, even though it is the meta and even though you will, if you play 10 matches with the same starting 11, but you use long ball quick counter in, in, in 10 games, you use quick counter in another 10 games and you use possession with pep in another 10 games. Out of those 30 games, you will get more wins out of long ball, quick count, long ball counter and quick counter. Again, watch Jack Wilcher's movement here. I manually drag him the whole way back. And then who collects the ball from this? Jack Wilcher. And then clears it up to Neymar. Positioning and then power with Maradona to make the run. It doesn't work, but it's all, it, it's all the matter. Now, we've skipped on because I don't want to make this video too long, boys. But these are the end stats. So there you have the stats there, 34% possession for him, he had zero shots on target, and he also had 45 successful passes to my 116. Tackles are the same, interceptions are kind of similar, crosses are similar, fouls are similar, and you might say to this guy, this guy was, you know, a Division 3, Division 4 player, this guy has been top 1000 before. So it's not just about playing guys with possession that you can completely decimate, it is sometimes just about a bad matchup. If I had played this guy... Hell for leather, and if I had played him straight up, 
quick counter versus quick counter, long ball counter versus long ball counter, and I had played this game on his terms. This guy could have turned me over, because all it takes is three passes for a chance on goal with centre forwards. But because I controlled the play and I didn't let him in it, that is kind of how you play possession. So I want to know your thoughts. I'm going to do another deep dive on possession because a lot of people are asking me about it, but hopefully this answers your question. Obviously, this is just one game, but if you watch my last live stream, we actually played three or four games like this where we just held possession. I think I had one game where I had like 98% pass completion. So this was just one uh, match here where I kind of like cherry picked some good stuff. So let me know what you guys think of possession. Have you kind of tempered with it? Have you kind of like... Uh, flirted with possession and gone off it or are you still playing possession let me know your thoughts and i'll be back very very soon